technology. So kindly, Angeline, if you could allow me to, thank you, to project. Great. Um, before we take a deep dive to understanding what uh, Tech Soup Kenya is, um, I would want to first introduce KCDF. Uh, Kenya Community Development Foundation is a public foundation based in Kenya. Uh, our mandate is to, uh, and our mission is working with communities in terms of enabling them to address the, some of the challenges that they face in uh, communities. Uh, this can be a myriad of, of challenges, but also we do have a keen focus in terms of building capacity for organizations. And this is how we come in, in terms of the program. Uh, we do have a special program uh, that focuses on giving or uh, building the capacity of organizations in terms of technology. Uh, and the program is dubbed Techs of Kenya. So Techs of Kenya, So Techs of Kenya is a technology donation and discount program. Um, the lead implementer for Kenya is KCDF, as I've mentioned, but we are part of a global network. Um, the global network uh, for TechSoup has around over 230 um, other partners. Uh, basically the partnership is uh, global. Uh, we've come together, to be, uh, together uh, with other partners and donors who are global ICT partners in terms of being able to give uh, technology solutions uh, and services to, to nonprofits. Somebody would wonder why specifically nonprofits? Well, we know that um, when it comes to the uh, technology, um, unlike the, the private sector or the corporate sector, uh, where the advantage is that they are profit making, so they're able to to provision resources in terms of technology. Nonprofits, uh, based on the kind of work that we do, uh, we've sort of been left behind when it comes to the technology transformation. Therefore, the ICT partners, the leading ICT global partners came together in terms of seeing how else do they ensure that um, the nonprofit sector is not left behind when it comes to technology. And that is how they approached TechSoup and TechSoup was able to uh, rally Different partners around the around the world to be able to address um, some of the some of the technology challenges that nonprofits go through. For KCDF, we serve Kenya and the rest of East African countries uh, with donated and discounted software um, that include licenses as well as technology services. So, if you're a nonprofit who is interested in terms of getting um, services like uh, email migration. Um, cloud services, and also e-learning training, or we give uh, training through courses, we are the go-to uh, organization. Our mission in terms of TechSoup is really to build that bridge, like I mentioned before, to, to bridge that uh, digital divide when it comes to nonprofits uh, and, and access to technology. So uh, our mission is to build a dynamic bridge that leverages technology to enable connections and innovative solutions for a more equitable planet. This is the this slide particularly shows how the relationship is with uh, the TechSoup program as well as the network. So TechSoup is a registered nonprofit, uh, really in terms of just being able to provision technology solutions and skills um, globally as well as locally to nonprofits. The network uh, has uh, various partners from across the globe who are able to reach uh, different um, nonprofits, faith-based NGOs, CBOs with this particular provision when it comes to the technology solutions uh, that we'll be talking about a little bit further. Um, so together, what have we been able to achieve? We've reached over a million organizations globally We've delivered solutions in terms of technology uh, and tools, both in software and hardware over, over 10 billion. 
and we've facilitated well over a billion US dollars in funding to this and nonprofit. We also just to mention that we, what I was saying is that we are over, we are, we are partners around uh, 200, over 200 in different countries and territories. And, and within the network, we have over 70 NGO partners in the global network. For Africa, we are four organizations um, in, in Africa who are supporting 56 countries and territories. That is Kenya, Ghana, South Africa, and Egypt. And together we are trying to influence really the capacity building of technology for these particular organizations or nonprofits that we are serving. Um, the goal, I mean, the, we, we have an overreach of over 6,500 nonprofits uh, across the region. So this is in terms of how did companies um, used to reach uh, nonprofits before tech support set up. So initially, uh, nonprofits be, uh, used to go directly to this particular uh, donor ICT partners there. So, you know, there wasn't really a way they could ascertain um, whether they were legitimate nonprofits or not. So really, um, that burden used to be bared by the ICT partner. So when TechSoup was set up, TechSoup became the primary, uh, primary go-to nonprofit, where as TechSoup, we are able to determine the eligibility of the nonprofit, whether it's a faith-based, a library, a religious organization, um, a charity, based or a foundation, based on their eligibility, we are able to ascertain what products they are able to get at a discounted or a donated uh, 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 price, and essentially really just doing the, the due diligence that is needed so that they are able to to really uh, get the get the donation or the discounted software or services from the leading partners that we work with, I will be mentioning the ICT partners that we that we have a partnership with and what uh, as a nonprofit you're able to access. So we've partnered with various uh, we've partnered with various uh, donors uh, who are in the I, I, ICT space. These are some of the leading um, organizations or non, uh, organizations in IT who we are working with. Microsoft is our largest partner. Um, Dropbox, Tableau, Slack, Zoom, Google also for Google for nonprofits specifically. We have antiviruses, uh, Bitdefender as well as Norton uh, are part of uh, partners who are able to provision um, this particular software and services to nonprofits like yourself. I will um, perhaps I'll allow my colleague to be able to also just type in the catalog so that you're able to see further what we are able to offer. Um, Josea, you can be able to type that on the chat box. Please feel free if you do have any questions. Um, you can use the chat box to ask if you need uh, any clarification or just further information in terms of the presentation. So as TechSoup, we do, are, we are able to basically provision, um, like I said, services as well as uh, software solutions for your nonprofit. We have been supporting various nonprofits uh, if, uh, across in terms of KCDF across East Africa. We have been able to provision licenses. Um, we have also been able to provision hardware for select partners. We have also been able to provision cloud services uh, in terms of being able to give email migration if you are, are keen on looking at security services as well. But over and large, we are also able to give managed IT support services um, through the technology support services. So really when you're looking at technology solutions and services, we are a one-stop shop giving a holistic overview of what we are able to, to give a, a nonprofit and support the nonprofit. And keeping in mind that 
it is in, in terms of donated or discounted price, meaning that if you look at the commercial, uh, if you look at the commercial uh, rate uh, currently, we as KCDF or as Tex of Kenya, we 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 are your nonprofit is able to make quite a significant savings when you come to us. Additionally, since we are partnering with the leading uh, donor IT partners, you're guaranteed to be given genuine software. So if if you're looking in terms of what is the value proposition of Tex of Kenya when it comes to IT and technology solutions and services, one is your making savings as a nonprofit, which I believe is very important based on the kind of work that you're doing. Um, so every shilling counts when, as a nonprofit. And two, you're able to get genuine um, and valid software uh, from, from the leading IT partners that we've partnered with. So this is just a practical uh, demonstration of how a nonprofit like yourself is able to, you know, make um, particularly savings when it comes to buying some of the softwares that we have on our catalog. Uh, if you look at uh, what the market rate is for Microsoft and what and what we have in our catalog. So on average, it's around $200 in terms of the market rate. But uh, when you come to text of Kenya, you're able to get that in terms of $9, depending on <clears throat> or in terms of Microsoft, as well as looking at Office. Office market rate depends. It's around between the range of $300 to $400. Um, for text of Kenya, the value proposition is $29. Similarly to Adobe, looking at the antivirus as well, uh, email hosting through Microsoft. And also one of the key aspects that is also important when it comes to nonprofits and the kind of work that we're doing is storage. So if a nonprofit, for example, that has 10 staff and is looking at, look, is looking at buying office, looking at buying an antivirus and looking at buying storage, if they went to the catalog and this is what they were able to choose in terms of their shopping cart. Um, in comparison to the retail market, as well as what Texas of Kenya is able to offer, uh, at the end of the day, uh, once they are able to, to buy, they are going to be spending around $200 in comparison to what the market rate would be, that would be over $2,000. So essentially, uh, you're, 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 as a nonprofit, you stand to gain to make uh, quite significant savings uh, which I know is a big concern for most nonprofits when it comes to one, accessing um, technology, but also accessing genuine uh, technology. Before I move to, to the aspect of solutions uh, and services, uh, because largely we were speaking around licensing in terms of software, uh, I've seen Elimuyetu, uh, Bridget, uh, can I get QuickBooks in Tanzania? I'll allow Hosea to answer that kindly. Yes, uh, thank you, Elimuyetu. Uh, I think to answer your question regarding QuickBooks, uh, unfortunately, uh, at the moment, we do not love QuickBooks at our product catalog, but uh, it's something that we have received uh, feedback from our partners that uh, we are trying to work through that to see how our partnership with QuickBooks can be our board. Uh, but uh, for now, we currently do not have QuickBooks at our catalog. Okay, thank you, Ozea. Another one is, are there donations that aren't discounted um, in terms of, are there free ones? If they are, what are they? And how different does text of differentiate what merits free and what merits discounts? Ozea, maybe you can give, you can highlight in terms of what is free um, from our catalog and then also just mention what, what, what is discounted. 
Okay, thank you. Uh, in terms of uh, uh, our product, we usually have uh, two main categories. The product that we we call them at the donation and the product we say they are discounted. Uh, to differentiate the two, the discounted product are product that uh, when you come through as tech soup, we get to share with you or offer you a discount coupon that uh, you are required to proceed to the vendor partner. In this case, maybe for example, it's Zoom. Uh, then you are required to, to apply the coupon code to get the discount. For example, it can be a 50% discount, uh, depending on the, the current uh, discount coupon. The other products, we call them donation. The, the, for the donated, we usually, they usually cost at a small admin fee. And uh, then uh, with this admin fee, you get to get the, 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 the product uh, directly. Uh, for the current, uh, at the current moment, we have Asana, which uh, is uh, totally free. When you make an order through TechSoup, you get the product. However, with this one, you you also require to proceed to the Asana official site and uh, place the order with the coupon code. Yes. Thank you, Zia. For there's a question on Adobe. What what is what are we able to what is what is uh, the Adobe able to offer? Is it PDF reader or the whole package? And another one is, do we have any offers on MS project software? Yes, uh, maybe to answer the second one, in terms of uh, MS uh, project, we do have MS project on our catalog. Uh, it just, uh, maybe I'll share with you a, a link to that in terms of the Microsoft projects that we do have. Yes, we, we do have. For Adobe, uh, currently, uh, what we have on our catalog, uh, we don't have uh, Adobe Linda. What we have uh, is uh, other product uh, from Adobe, like the Autodesk, uh, the Photoshop, and the likes. Perhaps is to follow uh, us in terms of uh, follow-up and maybe share with you other, other product we have and, uh, from Adobe. What the other question? I'm trying to to see if I've gotten the other questions. There is one for Salesforce. Um, is Salesforce a partner? Okay, for Salesforce, to mention, uh, uh, we are you are not yet a partner with Salesforce in terms of. Uh, uh, coming on board in terms of partnership. And so for the moment, you are not offering any sold Salesforce product, but it's something that you are looking up to in terms of uh, uh, onboarding them in the near future. Thank you, Jose. Um, Saku, I've seen your question on, you're interested in hardware discounts, especially computers. Um, one of the things that we were able to do during uh, the the onset of COVID uh, was being able to pilot a project around giving hardware to nonprofit organizations. And that's because of what uh, the pandemic really brought to fore uh, when it came to just looking at the, the aspect around hardware. Uh, a lot of nonprofits that we work with as KCDF, even just as simple as working from home became such a, a tall order for, for them. Um, and that became very uh, glaring for us to being able to look at how else can we expand our catalog, not just giving um, services and licenses to organizations, but also looking into growing the catalog to have hardware. Um, we, we, at that particular time, we were able just to get a grant to be able to provision for that. But currently we are looking at partners um, different uh, partners uh, like Dell or Lenovo to also enhance our our catalog because it, a lot of this there's such a huge demand from nonprofits when it comes to hardware. So currently we do not have 
um, hardware provision in our catalog, but it's something that we are working on critically and um, hopefully we should be able to have that um, within our catalog as well. And I'm also just going through the other questions in the chat box. I think there is a question uh, from uh, Anatasha about uh, email migration and uh, consultation. Yeah. Yes, uh, as PECSUP, we do have, a, uh, as part of our managed services, we do have a consultation as part of email migration services. And uh, this is free in terms of consultation. We get to understand your current mentors organization, what you are, you are expecting in terms of uh, your needs. And then after discussion, we're able to guide you to advise from our expert and then uh, take up the, 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 the service in terms of uh, your, our contract or our agreement. Thank you, Hosea. Perhaps um, as the questions keep coming in, maybe I can go through what we are able to do in terms of services uh, as Techs of Kenya. And then we can take on the, the additional questions at the end. So as Texo Kenya, we are also uh, we will also be give services to nonprofits. One of the areas that we focus on really is, uh, is around cloud and giving uh, cloud solutions to nonprofits. Um, so as, as Jose had mentioned, we do give consulting services around email migration as well as security services. Um, we are able to really go step by step with an organization in terms of just understanding their environment and the technology um, environment, what the, the, what the need is. Also just uh, giving them an understanding in terms of uh, what the implementation of the technology services looks like, um, but also over and above giving that solution what we're able to do in terms of managed IT services. That is having um, TechSoup being able to really just uh, be the go-to organization when it comes to of this, really just giving, um, I can say, uh, um, being able to, I'm trying to look for the right word, the te right technology term in terms of just giving an overview of just managing uh, your IT services for your nonprofit. So before I go to the next slide, so we are able to do email migration depending on whatever platform that you're doing. If you're looking into look, if you're looking into moving from uh, Google to Microsoft or Microsoft to Google, for example, we are able to do. That. We have been able to uh, do that for a number of organizations. Um, when it comes to security services, uh, enhancing that, we are able to provision that uh, with the support of also our partner, um, TechSoup Africa, who are the regional hub. Um, but <clears throat> but any 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 uh, solutions when it comes to cloud, we're the go-to person. As Hosea had mentioned, uh, consultation is free. Just trying to understand what value is there for moving to cloud or just getting an understanding, what does that mean for your organization? Um, what does that mean also in terms of budget? You can reach out to us. We are, we are available in terms of just having a one-on-one -on -one meeting just to get a better understanding of what your organization uh, technology needs are. Over and above also services, um, we are also giving training or capacity enhancements to, we, to your staff. Um, or your, your nonprofit staff in terms of, we do have a course catalog, an online e-learning platform um, where we have various courses, um, largely focused on IT, but also additional value, uh, value add courses such as that not many nonprofits also struggle with. So we have um, other than IT focused or digital skills focused courses, we also have um, courses on looking at what can an organize, how do organizations basically do uh, proposal development, um, raising, uh, raising resources locally, 
um, effective presentations when it comes to nonprofits, when it uh, pitching uh, presentations to donors uh, in terms of funding. Um, also, mm -hmm. storytelling. I think one of the things that uh, uh, not many nonprofits, uh, in terms of just getting ahead when it comes to showing or showcasing the work that you're doing, storytelling becomes a big uh, element when it comes to just demonstrating the impact of your work. So, um, over um, the years, we've been able to basically generate uh, relevant courses for nonprofits. So we do have a general course catalog where we have over 60 courses currently available. And this financial year, we'll be generating 30 new ones for nonprofits. Some are free, um, and some are charged really at a very uh, discounted fee, and we'll be looking at, uh, at that. Um, but also we do have IT focused uh, courses um, through the Microsoft Digital Skills Center. Um, currently that focuses on cloud, getting an understanding of te technology, productivity, data, um, security. We have over 20 courses currently and uh, this financial year we'll be developing 10 more. And the beauty of these courses is that they're in various uh, uh, languages, not just English, but also French, Spanish, and Arabic, looking at the fact that we serve uh, quite a, a huge territory in Africa in terms of the four organizations, um, the four partner organizations. So textbook courses, they, they are in different levels. So entry level in terms of just introducing the topic, that's 100, uh, 100 level. 200 level takes a bit of deep dive of the topic. And those are the charges really. 300 level means uh, you're going through a course uh, maybe for five weeks. And then we have seminars where you have an expert who's really talking about that particular uh, topic uh, focus. So they, the, the courses uh, vary, some are free, um, some are charged $10, uh, $50, but for courses that are 300 uh, level, they are cost tracks, meaning they, they have various courses within them and they can, they can be a bit on the higher side between 100 to 300 dollars. But essentially, all these skills really are to enhance the yeah, nonprofit staff in learning and just really understanding the technology uh, that we are able to provision uh, as Techs of Kenya. So this is the Microsoft Digital Skills Catalog in terms of the courses that we're able to offer. So looking at Outlook, OneDrive, SharePoint, Excel, Teams, just getting a better understanding of, of those uh, particular um, uh, solutions or ap applications that uh, come with some of the licenses that we provision. So for example, um, if your nonprofit is interested in moving to the cloud, um, but you have been using a different platform. How do we ensure then there's full adoption in terms of your nonprofit uh, uh, nonprofit stuff? So we are able not only to give the technical element in terms of uh, migrating you to a different platform, but also enhancing a good understanding so that we ensure that there's full adoption by nonprofit staff through the digital skills center or the e-learning online training courses. Um, this is just a, an overview of what also, um, other than uh, services, uh, software and solutions that TechSoup is able to give. Uh, we also have a larger community that operates as TechSoup, but uh, one of them is NetSquared, but now it's dubbed TechSoup Connect. Basically we offer free events. Um, and I think, uh, I, I know this was one of the events that uh, is a free webinar that we give to various nonprofits. Um, we do have various forums, uh, our socials, blogs, and uh, covering also webinars, really to just be able to, with the objective of just being able to reach as many nonprofits as we can um, with this particular uh, uh, donated and discounted uh, solutions and services. So one of the key elements for, for nonprofits to be able to really take full advantage of what we are able to offer is um, being able to be eligible uh, for these uh, solutions and services. 
So as we said from the beginning, TechSoup serves nonprofits only, uh, not commercial entities. And for that to happen, we do have a determinant in terms of an eligibility process. Um, I'll give Hosea an opportunity really to uh, give an overview of how we go through the eligibility process. So a nonprofit has heard about TechSoup, but they don't know how to access uh, the, the, the services. How do they then go about it once they reach out to TechSoup? So Hosea, if you could give an overview in terms of the eligibility process of what happened um, so that, by the, uh, so that uh, we are able to onboard a nonprofit. Okay, uh, thank you, Natasha. I think for for the TechSoup program, uh, or rather the donation program, uh, any organization that operates as a nonprofit, we shall say it's eligible for our product or other services under TechSoup. Uh, the first step is uh, we surely request you to register on our official website, that is uh, TechSoup. And this begins depend with your which country are you registering from or which uh, uh, in the country which your organization is operating. For TechSoup, maybe Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, uh, and the East African countries, we have respective uh, website that uh, we should uh, advise our partners to register. The first step after you register, you, you go through the registration process and uh, fill in the details about the organization, what you do, that is the mission, your budget, and, and the likes. Uh, one of the key documents also we usually request in terms of that is your legal document as per your country, and this to verify that you are legally registered as an organization in your country. And uh, uh, other documents uh, we request uh, in terms of a, a tax certificate, and this because of the regulations. Uh, sometimes we may we may also uh, request some other document just uh, as a way of doing due diligence, uh, and this is to ascertain that uh, in, in our partners who are registering are really a genuine nonprofit rather than uh, just some organization or pro profit making organization. Uh, once uh, the registration process is complete, uh, your organization details or rather the eligibility period may take up to five to seven business working days uh, for you to be qualified or rather to go through the registration uh, eligibility process. And then you are qualified, uh, you receive an email that uh, qualifies you that you can now proceed on to, to, register, to request any donation product and so on and so. Again, uh, we shall uh, also advise an organization that uh, maybe need, need, may be uh, request for support. Uh, in other that, uh, in terms of uh, uh, guiding you or taking you through the digital process, we are here in, in terms of supporting you that process. In terms of the kind of organization that uh, we shall, uh, in terms of uh, uh, staff, uh, we are open to any organization that operates uh, in terms of nonprofit, and this includes the NGOs, uh, public libraries, faith based organizations, CBOs, uh, societies, uh, and the likes. Uh, and just uh, that's uh, just uh, the whole process in terms of that. And then from there, we can uh, request us in terms of uh, maybe support. Uh, <coughs> Uh, provide you in terms of expert which product maybe are you uh, you interested in and maybe be able to guide you in terms of making that decision uh, so that you can uh, get the, uh, the kind of product or other service that you may require some profit yes indeed this is just the process and uh, in case of anything we are here to support you during that uh, process Thank you, Azea, for, for that. Thank you for that clarification. I, I am going through the chat box to see um, the other questions from participants. Um, William, I believe uh, you you saying that you applied for the Asana donation and you did, and uh, you didn't get a discount code. 
Uh, I believe Angeline will be able to to sort that out and she'll reach out to you. We've also shared the link to the catalog for the courses, but um, after this, uh, after this uh, webinar, we'll also be sharing really the resources that we've been able to, to share today, the catalog as well as the course catalog uh, with, with, with all of you so that you just get a better understanding of what you're able to, to, to offer and also share with your nonprofit staff as well. Uh, Samuel, you've asked about hardware, what we're able to offer. So currently we do not have hardware on our, on our catalog, um, uh, on our catalog, but maybe Jose, you can speak about endpoints and servers. Yes, uh, in terms of uh, uh, servers or uh, the other endpoint, uh, we do offer uh, various solution in terms of the softwares and this uh, from our main vendor partner that is Microsoft. But however, for hardware, <coughs> we currently do not have uh, in terms of server hardware and the likes. But for the servers, we do have various server, and this is guided depend with the with the needs you, you need as an organization in terms of uh, the capability or the bandwidth that uh, you are looking at in terms of. Uh, server specification and all that. Yeah, uh, I think uh, to get your question, I believe you are, you are asking about hardware in regards to servers and laptops. I hope Samuel will be able to answer your question. Um, Bridget, you're asking about what is TechSoup doing to make uh, the eligibility process an accepted uh, credential for equivalency determination outside of big tech. Um, one of the other things uh, TechSoup has a mandate on uh, is around also giving an equivalency determination uh, aspect. So the NGO source, I don't know if you've been, if you've ever, if you've heard about NGO source, but um, NGO source really is an equivalency determination process that TechSoup gives oversight on. Um, this mandate was given, I think, back in the year 2008. Um, but basically, TechSoup gives an overview for, for that, for uh, determining whether uh, nonprofits are eligible for various outside of big tech. So, it, when it comes to grant making as well, um, uh, TechSoup really uh, has that mandate in terms of uh, determining the equivalency for for nonprofits. I'll share also a, a link for that, uh, just so that you're able to get a better understanding. But we do have uh, a NGO source as the equivalency determination for text of, for around eligibility. Yes, Natasha, maybe to answer, I believe it's uh, Waidaka about uh, what does crowd implementation entail? Uh, I think when it comes to crowd implementation, uh, this is a, a service uh, that uh, uh, goes through from the consultation. Uh, we try to meet with you as a partner, try to understand your needs. Uh, from understanding your needs, we're able now to to, to suggest the possible solution in terms of implementing the crowd. Uh, this depends uh, if, uh, for in the case of Microsoft, maybe through the email migration process, setting up, uh, doing the email migration, the, the training of your staff or admin training uh, in terms of the offering the textbook courses, all, all that is a, uh, it's, uh, they are part of the service of implementation. And this is just to make sure that uh, as a partner, when you are onboarded in terms of crowd, uh, you are able to utilize it to the maximum in terms of productivity. Yeah, that, that's, so that's what we mean by crowd implementation. That is part of our intake form where we try to understand what you are looking at as an organization to run this, this, the, these services. I hope I have answered you, Waidaka.
was there I know this is a, a new I know I know the I know this is a new um, solution or service for Microsoft fundraising and engagement for nonprofits. Is that part of our catalog? Uh, for now, it's not part of our catalog, but it's something that uh, we are looking at. So one of the um, the things that perhaps just to take note of is that um, there are uh, there, there services or, uh, or also softwares that are launched at the global level and then also later launched at um, the local context, for, for example, like the Text of Kenya um, catalog. So currently we don't have the Microsoft fundraising and engagement uh, uh, for nonprofits, uh, but I one of I, I think perhaps Ian we can reach out when uh, when we do have that within our catalog and we do have a better understanding in terms of what we are able to to offer in terms of that particular service. Uh, Bridget, you're asking so NGO source uses TechSoup for ED. Um, NGO source is part of TechSoup, so yes, we, we use uh, NGO source for doing the equivalent equivalency determination. It is part of NGO source is part of TechSoup. Applications, yes, applications are reviewed by NGO source. Um, Bridget, maybe uh, we can be able to send. Uh, you can send a, an email or if you'd want just a, a, a different conversation outside of this webinar when it comes to NGO source, please feel free to reach out to us. Um, I don't know if anybody really has any more questions, um, they can unmute and we can just uh, also just give clarification on, on or raise your hand uh, just to give clarification on or information in terms of what we're able to offer. But essentially, um, that is TechSoup Kenya uh, and what we're able to offer for nonprofits like yourselves. Um, we've worked with quite a number of nonprofits, both big and uh, uh, both large and uh, small nonprofits. So really, we are here to serve all nonprofits. Um, when we think of clients, perhaps maybe in terms of uh, large nonprofits, we have uh, Church World Services Africa, Save the Children, um, AMREF. Uh, when I look at uh, also uh, mid-sized organizations, also KCDF is a, is a beneficiary of, of, of really the technology solutions. Um, we have uh, MEDS. Uh, we have also organizations like Fit to Action Network. Um, even small organizations, uh, also partners that we work with, uh, Beacon of Hope, uh, Youth Congress, really, so really we are able to cover depending uh, in terms of what your nonprofit technology needs are. Uh, we are able to look at that and see what we are able to customize or tailor, or tailor recommend for your nonprofit. So please feel free um, to reach out to us. We'll share the contacts. Uh, of, 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 we'll share the contact of, of how to reach out to us. Um, also, uh, spread, uh, in terms of just uh, uh, being able to let other nonprofits know about us, but um, we are here to serve you, uh, just being able to give you the best that uh, we have to offer when it comes to technology solutions. Um, So we've shared, we've shared the contacts on how you can reach out to us. We will be also subsequently be making a, a follow-up uh, email in terms of sharing all the resources we've shared here so that you're able to just get uh, uh, access uh, later on beyond the webinar.
So other than that, um, thank you so, so much for carving out time uh, this particular morning. We will also share the presentation as well as the, the recording as well. Um, and feel free to reach out to us. Let me type out my, my particular, my, also my email so that if you need to reach out. You can do so. And for those who've shared, um, I'll also be reaching out um, for a one-on-one -on -one session just to get a better understanding of what your organization um, uh, needs. Thank you so much, everybody. I wish you a very good uh, rest of your day. Asante sana. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.